with the cursor still at the same location, we'll add a plane. Adding spans to shape this one ponytail strand. Duplicating it, translating one back, and moving the other in layer 2 as a backup. In edit mode, translate to the side. In object mode, duplicate and rotate, creating more strands. Join mesh, selecting individual strands using L to select linked, and shape using the reference image as a guide. Adding material. Modifying the shape to find the right silhouette. Using the shrink and fatten to vary strand thickness. And just as we did for the hairline, hiding the top connecting part so it's not affected during the proportional editing, using Alt-O for proportionals connected mode. Adjusting the shape so it's off center. Readjusting the shape for the hair tie. Adding smaller strands for more variation. and continuing to add various sized strands. Rotating to form some random waves.
adjusting the ponytail height to find the right silhouette. Proportional rotate to add a slight twist. And applying transform values. Next, we'll add depth and dimension to the hair base using overlay pieces. Jumping forward a little after adding several other strands in the same way. Moving on to adding some loose strands around the face. Strands can quickly be added to the opposite side using existing ones as a starting point. Duplicate and scale in X at negative 1 which flips it to the other side. toggling the pivot to vary length and wave. constantly assessing and reworking the strands to form a better overall look. joining these strands into one mesh, naming it hair strands, and renaming the eyelashes. Reviewing each piece in local view for any final adjustments. and cleaning out the materials. Saving and reopening will clear out any unused materials.
We'll rename this material base color and add it to the hair. Reducing the subsurf view to one. Deleting mask modifier.